Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this video, I'd like to show you how to uh, how to put in a curtain wall. And what I like to do in this uh, model is to put a curtain wall in the front. What I have is a living room that's on the second floor. Uh, and that portion of the second floor, I like to make this into a large living room area with furniture and stuff like that. I haven't put the furniture in there yet, but what I like to do is create a curtain wall on that front. What isn't apparent in our model so far is the basement and our site which was created in a different model but uh, will be eventually incorporated in this model as we move along. So one thing I'd like to show you, I don't know if I've uh, shown you this or at least shown the whole class how to do this, is modifying the roof so that we can uh, make a gabled end of the roof instead of a, uh, a hip roof all the way around. So this is how you do it. And uh, before I do that I notice I don't have a roof floor plan so let's go ahead and uh, create that so we have something in our project browser that we can actually access. So if you go to the view tab Go down to our plan views. Let's go to our floor plan and the, the levels that we haven't created. Yes, I'll save the project. And the levels that we haven't created, that we have created but haven't created plan views yet, will be listed here. So we have a basement plan and a roof plan. Let's go ahead and click on roof. The default's uh, going to be one eighth of an inch is equal to a foot, so that's okay. We're going to go to okay. And there's our roof plan. So one thing is apparent about a roof plan is our roof is actually kind of truncated. It kind of looks funny if you're not used to seeing something like this. What's happening is we have a cut plane that goes right through uh, maybe about halfway, a little bit more than halfway through our roof at about uh, you know a couple feet off the roof level. And we can change that if you like. So we're going to go to this floor plan over here and scroll down to range, which is here, and go to edit. And remember the range has to fit between these two planes. So we have a lower depth plane of zero feet which is offset it from the, the roof line and then up at uh, 7 feet 6 inches is the top so let's go look at everything between 7 feet 6 inches and 0 inches uh, on that roof plan but the cut plane is actually 4 feet so if we take that 4 feet maybe make it 6 feet go to apply you notice that now that cut plane has moved up from 4 feet it's moved up to 6 feet and it's looking down on our roof and that seems to be okay so let's go to okay on that so what the cut plane does, when you're talking about sections like that, what a cut plane does is it cuts the model, and whatever it cuts, it, uh, you know, there's always two lines that are associated with the cut, like with a wall. There's uh, the edge, those two lines uh, denote the edge, an interior edge and an exterior edge. And when it cuts it, it gives it a nice bold line, the boldest line that you'll find on drawing. And all the other lines are either grayscale or thin lines, denoting some other, some other interface or maybe some sort of background element. Okay, enough said. Let's take our roof and uh, edit that roof. If we click on the roof itself, it turns blue, we can edit it. Edit the footprint. And you notice that on this line and this line don't have that triangular symbol to it, which denotes slope. So if we click on that line and we click on that button and check mark it, it'll give it a slope. Click on this line, give it a slope, check mark, check mark, and go back to our 3D view. You'll notice that now we have a gable down. So let's do that very same thing and give it a um, uh, give it a not a gable end. What we just saw was a hip end of the roof. And but let's do this very same thing. We'll put a gable end on, on the very roof on the very same roof. Boy, okay. So now we have a roof profile. Uh, we don't really. I, I suppose we can make edits to it here if we can see that. So we want not not want to change that to zero twelve because that really kind of goofs it up. Does something weird. But let's go ahead and click on define slope and unclick that unclick that and then go to rebuild now we have a hip roof <laughs> now we have a gable roof gable hip roof is when it kinda goes up there you know all the walls are connected to it and every every side of the roof has got a slope to it a gable roof is open on that particular end okay belabor that a little bit let's go ahead and finish this let's go to the home tab and uh... if we go to the roof button Oh, I'm sorry. Let's X head out. Boy, I'm just I'm just batting a thousand here. Let's go to this wall here. If we click on that wall, we have the ability to attach that wall to a top base. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend that wall, which would be a lot of complex geometry if you did it other ways. It automatically do this for us. So we're going to attach it to the top base. And what we're going to do is we've already clicked the wall as a reference. Second thing we're going to do is click on our roof, and and look at that. It takes that wall and extends it up to the roof. So let's do it in the back. Just to repeat it. Click on the wall in order to get that command. Go to attach top base. And part of the modified portions of the wall is the, the ability to edit its profile. And it gives us a couple other buttons here too. So attach the top base. Click on the roof. 
It takes that wall and moves it up to the top, right up to the roof, and trims it out for us. Okay, that's enough for this video. Please join me for more.